Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during the season of Epiphany, Jesus reminds us again that He really is the Savior of the world. But how can we be so certain? What makes us so certain that Jesus is that Savior? We can point to a lot of things in Jesus' life, the miracles He performed, how He made the people who were deaf be able to hear, the blind were able to see, the lame were able to walk, those who suffered from various diseases were healed, even those who had died were raised again to life. Those who were inflicted by demons, those demons were cast out. Jesus did many other things. We see in God's Word that he, that God the Father spoke twice about His Son, that this is my Son, whom I love with Him, I am well pleased. And at the end, before He would go to the cross, He shined for, all, for His disciples to see. He went on a cross, He died, and then He rose Himself. These are all examples of why we can be certain that Jesus really is the Son of God. But then again, how do we know those are all true? How do we know He really did all of those things? How do we know that what we have written in a book is the absolute truth? In history, we're always looking for the truth. What happened in this situation? What happened way back when? None of us were there to see it, so how can we know for sure that any of it happened? Often we rely on eyewitnesses. We rely on those who were there, those who wrote down those events a long time ago, and we have just simply preserved those writings. That is the same when it comes to the Bible, but even more so. In a lot of our history accounts that we know from from all over the world, we don't have a ton of primary sources. We don't have a ton of what has been written down. A, le a lot of it is left to us to try to figure out through bits and pieces of information. But when it comes to the Word of God, especially the life of Jesus, we have a lot that is written about Him and a lot by those who were there. The disciples who were there, who saw Jesus do all the things that He did, wrote down for us what they saw, what they heard. So when they say that Jesus did all those impossible-sounding miracles, we don't have to doubt it, because they saw it. When Jesus rose from the dead, which boggles the mind, we don't have to doubt it, because they saw it. And then they shared it with us. They shared it so that we can know that Jesus really is the Savior of the world. He didn't. They didn't keep that message to themselves. No, they shared it because that's what God wanted them to do. So that we, many generations later, can also know that the baby that was placed in a manger at Christmas really is the Son of God, who really did come, who really took on human flesh, who really lived perfectly in every way, who then died on a cross and rose again, really happened, and therefore really came for you, which means you really are saved. Your sins are really forgiven, and heaven is your real home. And we will see that to all be true when Jesus returns again to take us in. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for revealing yourself to this world. And thank you for recording it for us by your witnesses. So that we can know with absolute certainty that everything that the Bible tells us is true. Especially the parts about our salvation. So that we can always rest assured that we are saved and forgiven and going to be with you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And may the Lord bless your day.